Right, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I've been sat on this news for some time uh, because I was waiting for some more revelations, actually. We're going to be taking a look at two pieces of news. I was going to be splitting these into two separate videos, but hey, I can't. There's no other information that's come out. So, yeah, we're some good news for Hellraiser. Some very good news for Hellraiser, uh, potentially. Uh, but also potentially some bad news. I'm going to err on the side of caution and say that this is good news though. So we're going to look at that and then we're also going to look at Marvel TV absolutely just it's just balls up basically. Look, it looked terrible. Not not sounding too good at this point in time. So we've got some good news and some bad news. Um, but let's, uh, let's take a look at the good news, okay? Now this is to do with the Hellraiser movie. Uh, Spyglass, you may remember this company. Spyglass... Media Group, uh, or, or, or Spyglass Entertainment, or was Spyglass Entertainment, is now Spyglass Media Group, uh, has has basically got a president of production. Now, I'm not going to try this guy's name. Peter Oilatagarera, something like that. Yeah, I've, I've, phew, sorry guys, I know. My British tongue just can't, can't do that. It can do other things, but it can't do that, sadly. Um... Now, he's been named head of, well, basically head of production at Spyglass. Now, this is good for a few reasons because the company is structuring itself as a legitimate studio. Now, that's the pro. The negative is what Peter has produced in the past, which we'll get onto in a second. Um, but on surface level, woo! Spyglass Media Group, they're moving ahead. Uh, because this is an, this is a no-name company. They've not really done anything. Uh, uh, well, under Spyglass Media, anyway. They've done nothing. They haven't really been chugging away. Uh, they announced two projects, Hellraiser and then Scream 5. And then that's it. But the fact that they've got this guy and they're structuring their company uh, well, appropriately, yeah, this is good news. Because it shows, well, on surface level, anyway... It shows that they are committed. So I'm going to say, we're going to say this is good news. No F in the chat, boys. No F in the chat. Okay, so let's get into it, right? Now, this is over on The Hollywood Reporter. Not a bad website. Not a bad website. Spyglass Media has tapped Peter Oyligaterera, blah, 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 uh, as president of production. Peter will run theatrical production for the company, including creative development, physical production, and post-production. Spyglass chairman and CEO Gary Barber announced Monday. Now again, there there is some negatives to this because Peter has produced some utter garbage. But remember, this ain't what he's handling specifically. This was, uh, Hellraiser was announced pre-Peter. Hopefully, this is something which Peter will follow through on. Uh, you know, no jokes in there. Hopefully this is something that she will follow through on at the very least and will continue the production. But because it was announced pre-Peter, hopefully it's still there. Now, Peter will report to Barber at the recently launched company, which is a partnership between Barber and Lantern Entertainment co-presidents Andy Mitchell and Milos Brajevic. Spyglass has more than 250 titles in its library and is developing reboots of the horror franchises Scream and Hellraiser. Now, Hellraiser had some recent news, which was... We all knew it was David S. Goyer was handling it, but then we also got David Bruckner uh, on board, I think. Or Richard Bruckner, David Bruckner. I'm getting the names confused. Uh, Bruckner, the director of The Ritual. Now, he's on board, but then also there's other writers attached. So, hopefully, Goyer's involvement is being phased out. Fingers crossed. Now, the executive already has a long-standing relationship with Barber, having spent nine years as president of physical production at MGM. So, he's done the job before. It's not a nobody. He's he's a long-standing dude in the industry. Now, this was obviously when Barber run the studio as CEO. So, Barber and Peter have a long-standing relationship. They've worked together a lot uh, in the past. Now, again... Peter was responsible for overseeing all aspects of physical production across the feature film and television units. Now, they're highlighting the good stuff. James Bond, Skyfall, Spectre, No Time to Die. Uh, other movies, including the revival of the Rocky franchise with Creed and Creed 2. And features ranging from The Addams Family to Me Before You. Uh, on the television side, uh, he oversaw series such as 
The Handmaid's Tale, and Viking. So he has done some good stuff. He's also done some utter poo. There's two there, which ain't so good, right? <laughs> but again, I still think this is good. I've got no qualms about saying I think this is good. But again, he did the Scorpio King. <laughs> Executive in charge of production. I mean, Jesus, come on now. So again, look, he he's not... He, he, look, it's not universally good, is it? He has done some bad stuff. Um, but he's also done some really good stuff. I'd say it's about 50-50. It's about 50-50. So, you know, we had some other comments here and there by them just saying, you know, Peter and I have worked together. This is all just a circle jerk. Peter and I have worked together for nearly 20 years on diverse slate of large-scale productions. Blah, blah, blah. Really nothing too interesting there at all. Um, and then, you know, Gary is a long-time mentor and industry leader. And again, this is just them patting each other on the back. There's no point in reading this stuff out. It's lame. It's besides the point. Now, I do think this is good news, though, because... What this signifies to me, outside of Peter's 50-50 uh, work on productions, is that the company itself is legit. And this was a no-name company. Yes, it had named people behind it, but it was a no-name company. So I think this will be good. I, I do actually think this will be good. Now, the other side of it. Oh, dear. There's some bad news. Marvel has terminated the pair, uh, well, pair of showrunners. And their overall deals are done. This is an exclusive to The Hollywood Reporter. Now, again, sorry for tying these together, but hey, I, I thought I would, and, you know, Saturday I'm having a glass of wine. Uh, fudge it, who cares? Let's just do this together. Um, now, this is interesting, right? So it goes on to state, you know, some, in, some bits and pieces about coronavirus and stuff like that, but that's not why they're doing this. You know, Disney is in massive jeopardy right now. They are taking huge losses. Billions lost billions so they are really downsizing everything now sources tell the hollywood reporter that marvel has terminated overall deals with tv showrunners steve lightfoot of the punisher and paul zbzeski i've butchered that uh, of hellstrom now the packs are believed to be some of the first to be force majeure amid the industry-wide production shutdown as studios of all sizes begin to tighten their respective belts sources say the duo's respective deals were with Marvel and not Disney-owned ABC Studios, which serve as the studio on the company's comic book series. So, that's interesting, is it not? It is. Uh, and Marvel has declined to comment. What a surprise. Uh, and this goes into the other news, which, you know, Disney execs were furious where Leslie uh, Headland was announced as doing a, a Star Wars series that was all female-centric. I mean, they shouldn't be announcing these things. Stop it. You know, don't announce these things. Don't get these people on board. This is bad news, you know. The whole industry is a total shit show right now. And what fascinates me is you're cancelling these people, right? Someone who's going to do, what, like uh, Ghost Rider, Punisher, Hellstrom, right? You're axing these people who would have done something which arguably would have been praised to hire some absolute bellend nobody that's just some feminist diverse arse liquor right why i mean are you do you just want to go bankrupt fuck what are you doing literally does not make any sense the accountants behind these people must be just smashing their head into a brick wall at this point in time like what do you want to lose money is that what you're trying to do um now, obviously, we get some interesting, uh, you know, just the, the feedback here. You know, Lightfoot was most recently served a showrun on Netflix's Marvel drama The Punisher, which was cancelled a year ago after a two-season run. Uh, and Zbzebski serves as showrunner on the comic book Powerhouse's forthcoming Hulu live-action drama series Hellstrom, which was able to wrap physical production, but then he's, he's gone anyway. Sources note that Zbzebski will wrap up post-production work on the ABC Signature Studios and Marvel produced Hellstrom starring Tom Austin. Uh, but the show was one of two live-action dramas that Disney-backed streamer Hulu picked up straight to series last May, which is Ghost Rider. The second one was Ghost Rider. So yeah, this is done. You know, Ghost Rider was done. That was scrapped. Why do they keep doing this? It's like they just want to lose money. But look, some good, some good news, some bad. Uh, Hellraiser TV series sounds good. I'm, I'm pro that. Ladies and gents, I think uh, I think that's good. Hellraiser TV series is, is all, you know, I know some stuff about that. That's going ahead. We've got Hellraiser reboot, a movie as well. Hellraiser seems to be on the up. 
Marvel seems to be on the negative, which is laughable, you know. With years of crap Hellraiser stuff, and now we've got some good stuff on the horizon, hopefully. Um, but what do you guys think of this? Marvel in the, uh, in the shit. And apparently, 80s horror getting a revival. Because need I remind you all, and I probably should remind you all, because I think this has fallen by the wayside, but Amazon actually picked up an Event Horizon TV series a while ago. So, 80s, and obviously, you know, normal horror, uh, is making a comeback. Love it. I think they realise they can do it on a budget, that's why. And hopefully, ladies and gents, hopefully, that'll be the future. But anyway, love to hear your thoughts, let me know. Hope you have a great weekend. Support my original short film. We're almost at 90%. Uh, it would be great to hit 90% by the end of the weekend. be great to get close to 100%. Uh, I'll be doing a live stream next week on my birthday. Because, yeah, it's my birthday next week. Uh, it'd be great to hit 100% by then. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching for this stage. Take care.